The Frog and the Nightingale An extract from the poem The Frog and the Nightingale by Vikram Seth Once upon a time a frog croaked away in Bingle Bog Every night from dusk to dawn he croaked on and on and on Other creatures loathed his voice but alas they had no choice and the crass cacophony bled out from the sumac tree at whose foot the frog each night minstreled on till morning light neither stones nor prayers nor sticks insults or complaints or bricks still the frog's determination to display his heart's elation but one night a nightingale in the moonlight cold and pale perched upon the sumac tree casting forth her melody dumbstruck sat the gaping frog and the whole admiring bog stared towards the sumac rapt and when she had ended clapped ducks had swum and herons waded to her as she serenaded and a solitary loon wept beneath the summer moon toads and teals and tiddlers captured by her voice cheered on enraptured bravo too divine encore so the nightingale once more quite unused to such applause sang till dawn without a pause next night when the nightingale shook her head and twitched her tail closed an eye and fluffed a wing and had cleared her throat to sing she was startled by a croak sorry was that you who spoke she inquired when the frog hopped towards her from the bog yes the frog replied you see I am the frog who owns this tree. In this bog I've long been known for my splendid baritone, and of course I wield my pen for bog trumpet now and then. Did you did you like my song? Not too bad, but far too long. The technique was fine, of course, but it lacked a certain force. Oh the nightingale confessed greatly flattered and impressed that a critic of such note had discussed her art and throat i don't think the song's divine but oh well at least it's mine that's not much to boast about said the heartless frog without proper training such as i and few others can supply you'll remain a mere beginner but with me you'll be a winner dearest frog the nightingale breathed this is a fairy tale and you are mozart in disguise come to earth before my eyes well i charge a modest fee oh but it won't hurt you'll see Now the nightingale inspired flushed with confidence and fired with both art and adoration sang and was a huge sensation animals for miles around flocked towards the magic sound and the frog with great precision counted heads and charged admission though next morning it was raining He began her vocal training but i can't sing in this weather come my dear we'll sing together just put on your scarf and sash qua 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 so the frog and nightingale journeyed up and down the scale for 6 hours till she was shivering and her voice was hoarse and quivering though subdued and sleep deprived in the night her throat revived 
and the sumac tree was bowed with a breathless, titled crowd. Owl of Sandwich, Duck of Kent, Mallard and Milady Trent, Martin Cardinal Mephisto, and the Coot of Monte Cristo, ladies with tiaras glittering, in the interval sat twittering, and the frog observed them glitter with a joy both sweet and bitter. Every day the frog who'd sold her, songs for silver tried to scold her. You must practice even longer, till your voice, like mine, grows stronger.